Okay, good morning. So it is day 19. Things are flying along. But I hope Kyla will really be able to stretch me out. I really feel like I'm becoming a yogi, which is so awesome. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. But don't forget to subscribe, the little red box down there, and comment. I want to hear from you guys. What's going on? What do you love about these videos? What's your biggest takeaway? And just make sure to give me a big thumbs up. And besides that, have a great day. We're back. We're back. Week three. Are you teaching yoga classes yet? I think I'm pretty close. I still need to learn a few things. Just fake it. No one will really even know. It's like toss in a word, do a thing. I'm a very, yogier. I think you're very close to teaching. Oh, okay. I, I, I like it. Well, this is week three. I feel a lot better, better than I did last week. I'm getting stronger. Good. They say 21 days creates a habit, mm -hmm. so that might make me a cyclist. Yes. Well, maybe not yet, but I'm getting there. I got the right mindset. That's awesome. I've got a so, good team behind you. Yeah, I got a very Killer good team, team behind, behind me. Yeah, 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 good. So, so what are we going to do today? So I lied. Last time I said we would move into a bit of a flow. Okay. I want to do one more thing before we flow, so we're going to flow next time I'm I see you. I'm a little you. bit worried. We've got a block. <laughs> We've got a block. We've got a block. And we've and got a yoga some, strap. Oh, this is going to get technical. So little, my two cents on yoga props is okay. um, I love them and I used to avoid them because I thought that props meant that you needed help and you weren't good enough, that you needed a prop to get you into a pose. The truth of the matter is, it, A, all of our bodies are so different. If you're a six foot person, you might not be able to get into a lunge and touch the ground because your bones are so long. Um, so what are you saying? Just saying that. Tall people and short people have different struggles in life. So the block kind of acts as an elevated ground, which is really, really nice because there's obviously multiple different heights that you can use that in. So I'm going to let you have that. Thank you. And you might not feel like you need it so much, but we're going to use it anyway because okay. especially on extra, extra tight days, that ground will feel further away from you and the support of a block will help you get into your stretches a little bit better. Cool. Cool. And then we'll talk about this one in a minute. So okay. um, we're going to start in our low lunge. Okay. Right? You know oh, what yes, that, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I that one. <laughs> you know what that one is. So let's start right leg forward. Okay, so when I had you take your, with right leg forward, we took left hand to the earth and we rotated. Okay. On a good day, that might feel really easy. On an extra tight day, let's pretend you're having one of those. Okay. You would just place that on the ground where your hand would go, and then you would use that as support. So that oh. extra lift now gives you room to sort of lift your belly up and off of your leg, pull your right hip back, creates a little bit more stretch, more room in the joint, gives the, the muscle a bit more space to work with. Whereas if we just like really reach for the ground, we're kind of cramping in, we're not giving the body much room to move. So from here, keep your hand where it is, keep your right leg where it is, tuck your back left toes, which you're already doing now. No, you were right the first time, yep. Now lift your left knee off the floor and find yourself in a high lunge. Woo, yeah. Now this is where the block's probably a bit more helpful. So you, you're you fine where it is, but you could elevate it to a slightly higher um, if you needed. Yeah, exactly. So from there, again, lifting the belly off the thigh and pull your right hip a little bit back. That looks perfect. Okay. Good, release out of that. Come down, just relax. And do the other side. And do the other side, <laughs> exactly. Got to keep it even. Yeah, right? Okay. So, finding our lunge. Hand to the earth, or to the, to the block. To the block. In your case, to the block. Let's start with the little twist. So our right hip pulls back. Tuck the right toes, and then go ahead and lift the right knee off the earth. From here, again, lift the chest off the thighs, belly off the thighs. Pull your left hip back. Now, whatever hand is down on the block or the earth, 
press it down and lift yourself out of the shoulder. Because what tends to happen is we, we sink in and we're like, oh, thank God there's something holding me off the ground. Press away, otherwise you're going to really pee off your shoulder. It's going to okay. say the, the swear word version oh, of that. Oh, no, you can't do that. You're not allowed to do that. You'll anger your shoulder and you'll end up with a shoulder injury. And the angry cat's going to be angry. I know. Relax out of that. Take a bit of a break. Um, so just with the stretches and poses that we've learned so far, that's how you're going to utilize that. Okay. There's a million other stretches and poses where the block's going to come in handy. We might, we might not be doing them. We might be doing them. Um, but basically, I think we all just need to embrace the block. The block. And the stretch. Embrace strap. the block. The block is great. And it doesn't have to be a block. If you're practicing or stretching from home and you don't have a yoga block, you can use a stack of books, a really well-behaved small child or dog maybe, okay, like, a, cool. like a strong dog. Perfect. Are we going to hang from a branch or <laughs> no. something? No. So finding a comfortable uh, seat, so whether that's kneeling or cross-legged, whatever is okay. most comfortable for you. Cross-legged. Something in my eye. Okay. It's called cow face arms. Cow face arms, you heard it. There's a whole pose that goes along with this which involves the legs bending, we're not gonna do it. But we are gonna do the arm portion of it because it's an amazing shoulder opener. Okay. So, take the strap in your right hand. Throw that over your right shoulder. This might need a little bit, yeah, okay. So you're gonna oh. go back there. Oh, like that way. Okay. Take your right arm up, good. Take your left arm behind you and try to find the strap. Great, now bend your right elbow and basically what you're trying to do is bring the hands down and up the strap until they're close, but we're working towards hands clasped. Well, can I just do hand, hands clasped? Well, can you? Yeah. Can you reach it? Now, can you reach it and have your head lifted and have an open chest? Great, so we're gonna hang out here. Are you even using the strap? I can't see over there. So from here, right now, your body's going that way. So you want to straighten it up. Another use for the block is sitting on. So oh. yeah, in a position where, because um, right now we've got a bit of an arch to the spine. Um, if you're unable to sit fully tall okay, I guess spine, I should use the... yeah, we're going to sit on the block. Okay. So that little lift generally allows people to sit with a tall spine. Because if we're sitting here, even if we're sitting here, then the arms come up and it starts to make us do that. This isn't really stretching what we want to that stretch. Isn't look exactly. Okay, let's undo those arms. Let's try the same thing on the block. Okay, so now I'm sitting down. You're gonna sit on the block. And then you're gonna take strap in left hand. You're, you're on the block. <laughs> Might not be as close to teaching as I thought he was, but that's okay. Yeah, you know. It's just We're like working student on it. becomes a teacher here. Yeah. Okay, so then Okay, so this strap way? in left hand. Okay, strap and left hand. Yep. And then arm goes up. And then right hand finds strap. And then you slowly walk hands towards each other until they're close. Now you're gonna lift up through your chest, open up your left sort of bicep, tricep. Elbow comes out. And then we're just trying to hang out here and breathe. We're gonna stay here for a little bit as well. Okay, cool. Camera. Whew. Good thing I put deodorant on today. <laughs> it's like uh, it's okay. There's a good breeze. Everything's going that way, I think. Okay. Oh, jeez. I know. It's like when you're sweating this much during doing this. It's, oh wow, you. Trust me, it's a good thing you can't smell it on the camera. You should have a deodorant sponsor for this event. Oh yeah. Hey. Next time. Hey yeah. Next time. What's a good deodorant sponsor? Well, I mean. Joette. It... Hey Joette, I'm calling you out right now. <laughs> Relax the arms. Shake them out. Um, you can stay on the block if you'd like. You don't have to. We're going to use the strap again just for one more. So okay. it's behind you. You're going to want to grab it. Cool. Um, maybe bring it in front of you. You're going to have your hands wide. And then you're going to bring it up and over your head. And then very gently just let it fall behind you. And I don't want you to fall off the block. Oh, no, no, I'm good. Okay, good. So we're just, again, opening chest, shoulders. Relax your shoulders away from your ears because they're going to want to do this. Bring them down. And then if it feels good, you can kind of bend the elbows and go into that cactus position with the arms. And just let the band, I know it's not heavy, but let it kind of feel like it's pulling your arms a little bit back. And then breathing. Always breathing. This probably looks ridiculous. So I'm holding on to an imaginary Yeah, that's okay. Strap. Yeah. I can and see your biceps. From there, wow. likewise, you would bring it up, 
bring it down just for some mobility, just getting into the joint from all angles, back down. And if it feels good to stay in any of those positions, you would just stay a little bit longer and then just release the strap. So again, if you don't have a strap, you can use a belt, you could use a, a towel, like it doesn't matter what you Let's use. Go. Okay, so that's how we will incorporate these little props in it's our so white next little you. mini. I just came back from Bali. Oh. Yeah. That's it for today. Cool. Tomorrow we flow. Tomorrow? Well, Tomorrow's no. a good day. Tomorrow? You mean next week? Next week. Next week we flow. Mm -hmm.